Hot Hot coffee. coffee. A horrific ISS emergency, Russian cosmonaut was told to drop everything and go back inside. This was a horrific, horrifying warning. A Russian cosmonaut told to go back right away after facing an emergency during his spacewalk. Oleg Artemyev was forced to return to the airlock of the International Space Station after there was an electrical problem in his spacesuit, according to U.S. and Russian officials. The Russian cosmonaut was supposed to make the six-and-a-half-hour spacewalk with fellow countryman Denis Mativ. The walk began approximately 1.53 p.m. Wednesday, but Mr. Artemyev was forced to return back three hours into the mission due to an electrical issue causing Moscow to scrap the mission. Mission control in Moscow could be heard telling the cosmonaut to go back urgently. It said, Oleg, drop everything and go back. Drop everything and start going back right away. Go back and connect to station power, they said. Mr. Artemyev then quickly returned to the Poisk airlock and connected to the space station's power. The voltage levels in the cosmonaut suit began to drop while he was out in space. However, NASA spokesperson Rob Navius told Artemyev was never in any danger. The pair had been continuing to work on the European Space Agency's robotic arm, which was delivered to the space station last year. The 37-foot long arm was delivered last July on Russia's Nauka multi-purpose lab module with Japanese and Canadian arms also located outside of the space station. The Russian segment of the space station is close to the European arm. The team's mission was to install cameras on the European robotic arm while adjusting the mechanisms. The International Space Station in low Earth orbit has housed international crews of astronauts for more than 20 years. Russia, US, Japan, Canada, and the European Space Agency are counted as a laboratory's primary users. The labs on the station advance research ranging from botany to physics. It even uh, forwards research on the uh, long-term effects of space on the human body. But Russia announced last month that it would begin constructing uh, its own space station, pulling out of the ISS from the year 2024. Yuri Borisov, head of Russia State Space Agency Roscosmos, said, the decision to leave the space station after 2024 has been made. I think that by that time we'll start forming a Russian orbital station. NASA said that it plans to keep the International Space Station operation until 2030. It did not comment on Russian announcement. The only other space station currently operating in low Earth orbit is, of course, the Chinese station, Tiangong Space Station. The core module of the station was launched last year with additional modules planned for launch this year. But that only has about two astronauts, from what I remember. This is by Matthew Dooley on Express UK. So this is the NASA video of the uh, mission of the cosmonaut trying to uh, connect the arms, to work on the arms there. And as we can see, it's a mess of cables and whatever. I mean, I don't even know how can they, they can keep their attention to what they're doing. There's so many cables and things there. Uh, more power to them, what can I say? Okay, uh, please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Go back and, and connect the station power. Yes, I copy. Vladimir Alexeyevich, I copy and understand. Immediate return to airlock. Kindly support my Patreon account.
The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.